Hey everybody, Ewok Hugs, and today we're going to start a new series, which is awesome. Um, we finished up our basic calculator stuff for Java and C++, and like, that's really easy stuff that anybody could really do. So what we're going to get start to get into is OpenGL, and OpenGL is basically 3D stuff. Um, it's the best way to put it. It's like what all the video games are made out of. It's OpenGL, and you have to use models and instead of sprites. It's it gets pretty complicated, but I think we can do it. I've never actually finished an OpenGL game that I've started, um, so we're so we're gonna kind of work through this together, and hopefully something cool will come out of this. Um, the very first thing we're going to do is go to an Xcode. I'm using Xcode. If you're using Windows, I'm not sure because I'm not using Windows. Uh, file, new project. Um, then this will come up. Go to application, command line tool. We'll name it, um, what should we name it? Uh, Trope. I don't know. Just, just coming up with a name on the spot because I don't want to waste time coming up with the name. Okay, now that we've created it, uh, we need to add some libraries. So go to build phases, uh, link binary with libraries. Open this. Type in open GL. We're gonna need open AL, open GL. We're gonna add those. We need one more called glut, uh, and we'll go ahead and add that. And now we have our framework slash libraries over here. Uh, now let's actually go to the main.cpp and let's get this started. First thing you always want to do is using namespace std. Uh, also, just as a kind of disclaimer, I'm going into this thinking you guys have some sort of basic knowledge about C++. Um, I know you I'm not expecting you to know everything, but at least like the basic, basic stuff. But if you don't, I recommend going and learning that first. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to want to include a bunch of things. So include open gl, gl.h. We're going to want to include open al al.h we're going to include open l alc.h and we're going to want to include glut uh, glut whoops slash glut.h Okay, now we have all of our libraries included, and we could actually get this started. Um, this episode, all we're going to do is create the window for our game, or whatever we're creating, our OpenGL project, and um, well, and that's probably all we're going to be able to do this episode. And then next episode, we'll actually get into some more interesting stuff, like rendering. Okay, so... <coughs> um, First thing we're going to want to do is create, delete this constant right there. We're going to want to delete these braces and add another asterisk right there. Um, this just gives stuff permission, blah, blah, blah. No need to go over it. Just need to know that it happens, I guess. So init uh, glut and open open geo this is where we're going to put like the backbones to our window where you, this is just how we're going to make our window um what we're going to first want to do is say glut init and put in a thingy and then a r g c whoops and then a r g b this covers these parameters up here, and it's basically initializing it with those parameters, ARGC and ARGV. And yeah, there we go. We now have 
glut in it and this lodge with those parameters. Okay. Then we're gonna to wanna to say glut in it window, not window size, window position first. Window position. Uh let's just say zero zero for now. We'll do middle stuff. We'll make it nicer later. Um zero zero means top left corner, just in case you didn't know that. Um glut and the window size we're gonna say well, actually what we're gonna do is create some constants up here uh, just so we don't have to go back and change width and height through every single thing in the game we can just use it the constants and just kind of go off of those so like if we have to use width again we wouldn't have to change two values and we could just say with so hopefully that made sense um, we're going to want to say constant int window with equals we're going to say 1280 it's going to be a big one uh, let's copy this paste that window height and we'll say 720 Okay, so then now in here, we just say window width and window height. Okay, so now we have the window size set up. And the next thing we're going to do is actually create the display mode. So glut init display mode. Um, what we're going to what this does is basically says what it can render so obviously we want it to render um, RGBA uh, red green and blue or yeah red green blue and then alpha uh, alpha may basically means transparent we want it to be able to render transparent things as well uh, we're also gonna want Glut, glut, double. Uh, this is so it could render multiple things, and then glut underscore depth. This is so it can have depth and basically 3D like stuff. And hopefully this is all making sense. I'm going through it pretty fast just because this is like the extreme basics to creating this kind of project and. I mean, really, there's no real need to explain it. This is just what you need to know. Um, window, I'm going to create a constant for window title. And we'll name it const try window title equals We'll name it. What did we name? Chop pre alpha one zero one. Okay. So now we have our window title there, and just a constant makes it easier. Um, now we're gonna need some callback functions, and what callback functions are are uh, they basically allow you to reshape and allow the display to come up and actually present itself into the window so let's just say callback functions and what we're going to want to do is let reshape function and we're going to create a function or um, a method called reshape and then it's going to give you that error because we have, haven't actually made that function yet. I mean, yeah. No, that method yet, sorry. And then we're going to need to say glut display function, display function. And we're going to call it display. And it's going to give us another error because we haven't made that method yet. Um, so let's go ahead and make these methods up here right under our uh, 
constant. We're going to say void reshape. And it's going to be int width, int height, or int w. And then we're going to want to void display. Um, now that took care of those errors. And what we're going to want to do now is enter a loop. So it constantly runs through the display and reshape. So it updates the game instead, or whatever it is, it updates it so it doesn't always just stay at one scene. It has to update. So we're going to say go out main loop. And um, if we go out main. So yeah, it enters the processing loop pretty much. Sorry about that noise. Um, people are outside doing stuff. And then we're still going to return zero. And now what we're going to want to do is create these here methods. Int width, int height. Uh, give it those parameters. Then we'll go ahead and create void display. No parameters. Okay. Um, we don't really need to get into reshape today. Uh, I suppose we could get a little into display, but I think this episode has been long enough, and we'll actually get into uh, the reshape and display next time. So if we go ahead and run this right now, we should get a lovely screen. Yep, lovely white screen. So yeah, we've created a, oh, a C++ screen. and. Sorry, I went through this pretty quickly, and I know I didn't explain everything very well. It's just that, like I said, this is very basic stuff, and um, just you just need to know this. And you don't need to know wh why it works necessarily, you just need to know that it works. It's a lot like Java. If you've seen any of my Java tutorials, it's basically the same thing as creating a Java window, just slightly different syntax. So... Let's go ahead and end this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something, and I'll see you next time.